So there's a fork in the path here. And in front of the fork is a very, very fat squirrel. I wonder if he has any kind of quest or wisdom to offer me. <laughs> it feels like he should ask me some sort of riddle so that I have to pick which path to go in the forest. That's so adorable. Hello guys! So today we are deep inside of the woods going mushroom hunting because it is mushroom hunting season in uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf right now and so I thought it would be really fun to go on a great walk with you guys. We're long overdue for some nice walking vlogs and I listen to some really awesome podcasts. Right now I'm listening to the uh, Good Life Project, a lot of the Good Life Project and it's really doing some great things for me so I thought, you know what? I need to get out. I need to get out. I need to do something good for myself. And I'm going to go on a walk today. And I'll bring you guys along to look for mushrooms. And there's some of our very first mushrooms up in a tree right there, which I'm really excited about. And I think I just saw another one. I mean, look, it's all the way up in a tree. You would think you have to look on the ground. No, there's ones that are all the way up so high. I can't even see them when I'm standing under the tree. I can only see it from a distance. And I know I just saw another one that I was going to show you guys and be like, why? Ah, there it is. <laughs> And I was going to show you guys and be like, why does it have to be in the tree so far away? So let me see if I can line up there. Boing! Mushroom. I just think that they're so much fun to find and discover. They pop up and disappear so quickly most of the time, depending on species. And it's so beautiful here in the forest and the woods. And I need to spend more time here. And I was listening to the podcast and they were talking about how really enthusiastic creativity and watching someone be happy at what they do it doesn't matter what it is there's something really empowering and good about that and I thought you know what I really love being out in the woods I really love looking for mushrooms so I thought I would bring you guys along and you can laugh if you would love to I'll laugh I laugh too thinking that all of this mushroom hunting is so cool but I hope you guys will enjoy it and maybe we'll see something really fun in the forest today so let's dive on in yeah all right, found some more of the wiggly guys. Chips really loves these because if you come up and poke them with like a stick of some kind, then they'll often kind of jiggle. See? <laughs> so these are Chips' favorite and they seem to really love maybe this particular type of tree. I am no expert in dead trees, so I have no idea what this could be, but they seem to grow on wet mossy dead trees on their side. So let's go see if we can find some more of them. All these teeny tiny little shelf pieces, they remind me of like little clams or barnacles. That's what they kind of remind me of, tree barnacles. <laughs> like the way you'll have little barnacles that grow on anything that they can get to in the ocean. These kinds of little shelf mushrooms remind me of tree barnacles, basically. That's what I'm going to call them from now on, is a little joke. Tree barnacles! But you can see where they start off as these teeny tiny little spots. And then slowly but surely, they continue to grow out until they sort of form like a little ear shelf. And they'll just spread all over the place. No idea what kind of lichen, lichen this is. No idea. But you can see, I think this is the bottom of the tree right here. And then it split somehow and kind of just fell like so. And you can see the same type growing up. And you can just follow it. And you can see where it's gotten so thick up there that it actually looks like one, one line, one clump. And then it continues on up. And it actually has a different type of lichen that holds onto the top. And if you keep going up, you can see a nest. Somebody very cleverly found this little niche between the trees where all of these branches have gotten stuck when the tree fell and they have tucked a nest right inside of there. And that has to be such a secure place from all of the wind and storms. So that's either a dray or a nest and I think that's a really smart place for a squirrel to put its home. You guys see that sassy little thing dashing around up there? Oh, look at how sassy it is. That was a red squirrel, and it's actually kind of hard to see them because they're very secretive. They don't like to come out very long. They're very small. Ooh, he's so sassy. I wonder if he's sassing me or another squirrel. I've seen them chase the giant fox squirrels round and round and round the tree. They're very aggressive. Oh, he's so sassy. He's going up in that tree and going to tell me all about it. <laughs> That's so fun. We got to see a red squirrel. There's a little black squirrel in the distance. You can see him jumping away. Run, little one, run! There are so many 
a beautiful bird calls right now. I wish they'd keep singing, because every time I try to record it, they've stopped. But it's so fun. It feels like you've stumbled in on this whole community and city <laughs> that's just talking right over your head. Do you guys hear all of them? There's so many different bird songs right now. I don't know what birds they are. And I can hardly see anything moving in the trees or the branches. There's a lot of different calls right now and it's really beautiful. It's kind of here in the middle of this park where there's an open space where there's a clearing where some trees have fallen. And it creates a big open area. I see a woodpecker. So I see either a woodpecker or a tree creeper up in the tree. But all of this happy chatter. You can hear all of the birds just happy, happy, chattering away so quietly. It's really cool. Do you guys see the rabbit? I startled him. Right there. You guys see him? It is a very big rabbit, actually. I can hear so many different things over here. I wonder if there's other bunnies. Did he disappear? Oh, there he goes. Bye, buddy. Oh, I can hear other things running away, too. Over here is a big old tree, and if you follow him down, I mean, not only is it just gorgeous, it almost looks like a sculpture, the way that it just is sitting here, and with all of the swirls of the different colors of wood, but if you look at the bottom, you can see where it's had some big giant mushrooms. I don't even know what those are, but they're huge. They've started to rot away. You can see, it looks like there's another one possibly budding in the background back there. So we might come back in a few days and see if that little kind of almost portobello round mushroom puff turns into one of these big guys instead. Because they look really amazing and they get huge. Those are the really, really big mushrooms once they start kind of spreading out all over the place. We'll be back, little one. Here we go. Here's a bunch more mushrooms and it's more of the little springy guys. And you can see where we have some older ones that have curled up and they're no longer, no longer with us. They're going to be gone pretty soon. And you can see they've just spread all the way up this log. And look at this. You can see where some enterprising soul has dug out a little, uh, I guess a home maybe in there. That would be quite a clever place to have a little house. Wow. I love all the things you can pay attention to when you get down and just stare at something on the forest floor, like the feather that's right over there, and the way that there's so many funny tiny little mushrooms. I mean, look how cute it is! That tiny little mushroom. Oh, I love these little forest floor discoveries. All right, and here is one of the other big pieces I was showing you guys earlier. This is what they look like when they're still full and they haven't started to fall apart. But look how big they are. These are some pretty big old mushrooms. I don't even know what they are. I don't know what kind of fungus. That's practically the size of my wrist, the base that they hold onto the tree with. It's very interesting to see where they pop up. You can see evidence where old ones have started to fall apart. And you can see ones that have fallen down I mean, look how big that is. It's huge. And you can see where they've just fallen off. And I don't know if something is eating them or not, but it looks like it's been chewed on pretty well. So I have no idea what eats them. Oh, and that sounded like some sort of hawk. That's so cool. You guys, it's so beautiful. I love this rainy weather leaving behind so many fun mushrooms to stumble on out here in the forest. Oh, there is a hawk nearby. Oh, and I see more. I see more appetites up in a tree. Oh, I've got an eye for it. Hang on, guys. I'm going to see if I can show you guys what on earth I'm talking about. Right there. Do you see it? Right there. It's appetite. <laughs> All the way across the forest. <laughs> 
Oh, this is one of the most picturesque finds of them all. Look at it growing out of the side of where this branch used to be right here. A little one below it, but in the background, look at that. You've got a fallen tree. It has some of those big guys that are no longer open anymore. They're starting to rot off on the sides, but isn't that just beautiful? Look at how gorgeous this scene is. I love this. And you've actually got another one right up there too. There's so many mushrooms in the forest after, after it rains and this just looks so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Teeny tiny baby mushroom. Teeny tiny baby mushrooms. They're so small. They're so cute. They're doing their job. Those little guys <laughs> have the job of hopefully one day making this log fall apart again. Oh my goodness, they're those. <gasps> you guys, they're even teenier, tinier mushrooms. Oh my goodness, hang on. Oh. My. Gosh. Now these are the teeniest, tiniest, ittiest, bittiest mushrooms <laughs> right here, actually, that I have ever seen. I think ever. Oh my gosh. Look how small they are. They're so cute. Oh my goodness. This is the best. This is the best find ever. I can't wait to show chips. Look how teeny tiny. Oh, this is so adorable. I kind of need, ah, oh, you can see the ink stain on my hands from writing in my journal, why? I just want to point out like how small they are. Size reference. Oh my goodness, I'm so, I'm so excited. Oh, they're so tiny. You guys, this is the best. Look at these ones. They're growing so interestingly. You can't even see their stem. That's so fun. They look like little bells that are just hanging down. They actually make me think about Christmas, the way that you'll see like little Christmas bells everywhere. That's really fun. They're adorable. And this one's really interesting because you can see these mushrooms here tucked in into this little tree cavity right here. But if you look up, it's almost like you have these tiny little hidden clam mushrooms. That's so fascinating and they're a totally different color. They're bright orange compared to these guys down here. So I don't think they're the same thing, but there is something or somebody growing deep, deep hidden up inside of this tree cavity. And I just think that's so fascinating, the unexpected places you can find these pop up. Look at these guys. They're so cool. These are different. They're, they're kind of the same design, but different colors of some of the other big mushrooms we can find out there. And you can see how large they are. It looks like there's either a new one coming up right there or an old one that fell off. So more like an old one that fell off. And that's so interesting. I wonder if they made those holes as they grew. Like if the uh, fungus, because it looks like they did, look. Either they grow in the holes or they created the holes as they grew and helped to break down this tree and recycle the nutrients and return it back into the forest so that hopefully new trees can grow. And there's a tiny little appetite way back there, hanging out on that tree branch too. Oh, it's so beautiful here in the autumn. It's so beautiful all the time, but I'm really loving it because I can search around and hopefully find ha -ha, evidence of some other mushrooms and possibly either a new mushroom or a cocoon of some kind forming right over there. And the forest just changes. You don't have the beauty of spring to look forward to. It's not new growth. You're actually getting ready to watch the forest sort of settle into itself and kind of calm down and become quiet and dormant for winter. All of the nutrients kind of drawing in on themselves, all of the trees resting before the big spurt of growth they're going to put forward in spring. But I think there's just something so beautiful about seeing that whole process. And I actually get very excited in the autumn because the signs of it sleeping remind me that there's slime mold out here. Look at that. Oh, it's so cool. And it reminds me that spring will come. And I actually think there's a lot of a sense of peace and relaxation. <laughs> and joy to be found in winter to some extent too. Even though you guys know with seasonal affective disorder, I have a really hard time when the light starts disappearing, but I can really appreciate how gorgeous it is to watch the cycle of the seasons and all of the different things that each season represents. Resting, growth, like new growth, decay, 
all of that's just part of it. It's really fun. Oh, this is my favorite. This is one of my favorite spots because these are the mushrooms that Chips loves to make. He loves to poke these and make them go boing when we come by. Boing! Boing! Oh gosh, that's so cute. 